You know, I've come to realize something. Since I've gotten this new camera, besides my work in progress, which I'm not counting, I have not done anything Gunpla related, really. Again, besides the work in progress, which I'm not really counting. I mean, seriously, this new camcorder has yet to touch a Gunpla. Again, besides my work in progress. So, I figured what other way to get back into Gunpla than with something a little special. And who better than the most recent special Gundam to come out from the oh, the latest gun the finale to the latest Gundam anime. And I'm not talking about Moeki Senki Gunpla Builder because Beginnings 30 Gundam has yet to come out. I'm talking about the clear color edition Double O Quanta. Yes, I finished this kit the other day. I gave him I didn't panel line him, but I did give him some uh metallic green lining and now it's time to show him off now I've already done a review of Quanta but I haven't really I didn't really I wasn't really able to give him the full treatment since I didn't have this camera so let's zoom in on some of the details real quick because he's got some nice nice details starting off with <clears throat> unlike some people who shall not be named I really like the face of Quanta. It looks fine, really, on the 1144 scale. It, sure, it doesn't look like Exia, but I don't want it to look like Exia. Nor do I want it to look like the double O Gundam. I want it to look like look as close to them as possible, but have its own touches. And really, this face works perfectly. Now, of course, I have given him some little touch-ups, like the face is supposed to be plain, but um, on my Quanta, I gave him gray cheeks on here, since he's metallic, since he is like clear color, I gave him metallic accents, so I used my plated silver Gundam marker on his cheeks, and really, that looks nice. Um, as you all know, I do not use stickers, so instead of using the blue stickers that would go over top there and there, I use my metallic blue Gundam marker. Instead of using the black stickers that would have gone in the ears and the chest, I use my metallic green Gundam marker. Now, I didn't color them with my green Sharpie because uh, my green Sharpie kind of went missing. But yeah, that just looks amazing. Moving on down, as we all know, Quanta has amazing articulation. The head, uh, we all know about the head. The head is not impeded at all. It's just like Exia and Double O's. The shield. I gave the shield some special treatments as well, and if my camera will focus, you can see them. All these little square points, I colored with the metallic green marker, and then I lined all this little area right here with metallic with a metallic green marker, just to make it look like GN particles are fluttering through it. I also did the same thing down here. Pulling this up and rotating the GN drive. Yeah, it's a lot stiffer than the actual version. <sighs> clear plastic on clear plastic, let's put it that way. As you can see, I also colored the GN drive both sides. And also I did some lining right there. Yeah, I kind of stole versus Z's idea. I really liked it, so I kind of borrowed it. Sorry, Z. And then I did the same thing really on all that, mainly because if you saw, for those of you who saw the Double O movie, you all know when he combines to, for the Buster rifle, he fires also a beam from his shield. So I figured, what better way to represent GN particles charging for fire than to color those? Again, I did the same thing on my 1 to 144. Now, moving on down, like I originally said, the torso, and uh, the hand cover came off. Okay, let's put the weapon to the side for now. The torso has amazing articulation. For a 101 scale, it has 
pretty much three points, two points of articulation. It's got a ball joint here at the lower half, so it can go up and down and do all that. And then it's got a ball joint in the upper half, so you can get some really dynamic posing. Again, the 00 Gundam had the same thing, but still. Arms, again, we all know, Rotate 360, Bend, all that good stuff. This, uh, These are 00's arms, pretty much. And then the legs, again, they're double O's legs. They go out, though they're, they are kind of impeded by these now bigger side skirts. They can go out, bend, rotate, and whatnot. I colored, again, I replaced all the silver with metallic. But yeah, they go out and whatnot. Sorry. I replaced all the, sil the gray with silver. Just because I felt it was necessary. Now let me zoom out. And then I just lined the crotch and the back skirt with metallic green. And uh, also, again, I colored... The, is that cracking? Kind of looks like it's cracking. I colored the dome, all the domes, the condensers with that. And then I colored in these little... Let me zoom in again. I colored in all those sections metallic green. So yeah. Um, that's about it. I'm not really going to go any further with this. I just wanted to show off the clear the clear edition. It, the, the weapon can still do all the same stuff. This is the uh, blade for my Wonder for my 10144 regular version right here because I didn't cut off the regular GM blade from the 1100. But uh, let me just do a quick comparison with my one to one forty with my original one to one forty four. And yeah, these the two of them just look. Epic together, really. Uh, as you can see, I did do some other some other things with him that I didn't with him that I didn't do with him. Like I colored the yellow gold and whatnot. I gave him gold antennas. Like I said, I colored the face gray, and I did the feet and everything. So yeah, that's about it. There's not much more I can really go into. Um, like I said before, this is going to be, uh, after probably the end of this month, this is going to be really hard to find. You could probably go on eBay and find some uh, anime shops or Gunpla shops that are that had gotten their hands on these guys. Because remember, there's also a clear Raphael, Zabania, and Haru... That was close. A clear Raphael, Zabania, and Harut. Um... You could probably, they'll probably sell, they're probably, they probably have a single stock of them, not a multiple stock, just a single stock that, uh, they're, that they'll be selling. Uh, so if you want the clear double quanta or you want Harut, Zabanya, or Raphael in clear, go look for them right now on eBay. You could probably find them for cheap. I got him for 18 after shipping. Check big in Japan, uh, go, when you go on, if you go on to, uh, Facebook, I mean, not Facebook, eBay, check, look for a shop called Big in Japan. Uh, they should have some of them in stock. They might not because they were, I think they were only taking pre-orders. But just go and check them out anyway. They might have it. So, uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all at my next review. Which, I will give you a little surprise. That's about it.